everybody, so this is going to be my Ipsy unboxing for March 2014 and for the first time in quite a few months I actually haven't opened it yet as you can see. So it's going to be my first impressions, my first time seeing these products. I'm really excited it just arrived in the mail so that's awesome. If you don't know what Ipsy is, I'll leave a link down below but like I say every month it's a $10 subscription service for beauty products. I'm really really happy with it. Free shipping in the United States and a little bit more in Canada, a couple dollars. So yeah, so far I think it's absolutely worth it. If you haven't checked it out, I definitely would. So for this month, I'm just going to go ahead and rip into it. All right, now I'm reaching in and whoa, this month's bag is uh, quite colorful. That's what it looks like. Not sure what the design is, but it's just a, like a multicolor kind of print and it's um, like a vinyl type bag. So that's the bag. It's got a little tag on it this month. It says, the print of this exclusive Ipsy makeup bag is a selection from artist Clary Reese, geography based series, street anatomy, and showcases, blah, 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 blah. So that's why it's that color. And then there's a little card that tells you more about it. So I'm going to break into it. Everything feels a lot smaller this month. Um, even like the bag itself. And I don't know, usually like not everything fits in the bag or it's stuffed full. But I'll just say off the bat, it doesn't feel that big. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Alright, the first thing I see is from NYX, and it's the Love and Rio little trio palette. Those are the colors there, neutral type colors. It's got a cute little bow on it. That's pretty cute. Let's see if I can open it, or if there's... Yep, there's packaging on it, of course, but I think I can get this one off pretty quickly. But there we go. So that's what it looks like. Um, I will swatch the colors for you. They, they're nice colors, they just look like they might be a little bit powdery. I don't know, I find NYX's um, eyeshadow to be definitely hit or miss for me. I'll put them on my head, yeah. You can see the powder, especially on that brown one coming off. The middle one didn't really show up too much, and the pink one's really nice. So, I don't know, that's kind of a meh product for me. Yeah, the pink one and the brown one are quite powdery, so that's... That's the first item. And the next item I see is Chella is the name. It's called Hello Beautiful Eyes Eyeliner Pen in Indigo Blue. Never heard of the brand Chella before. There it is there. I like eyeliner pens though. Oh my goodness, that is quite blue. I'll swatch that for you. It's got a nice fine tip on it though. Woo! And it's very, very pigmented. That's the swatch of it there. So that's fun. I will definitely get use out of that. It's like uh, a really dark deep blue with some teal in it. I guess that's kind of what indigo means. Um, I would say it's an indigo. Really pretty, so I am definitely happy with that. It seems very pigmented. What do I see next? Next is from Pixi, and this is the Flawless Beauty Primer. I've tried a few Pixi products, been mostly happy with them, so this is a really good size sample size. I don't even know if it's a sample size. This might be full size because it's just a primer. Even Skin Tone Face Primer adds a youthful glow and it's hydrating. Well, that's good. I've been liking the more glowy products and the fact that it's hydrating. I'm going to open it up so you can see what it looks like. It's definitely tinted. It's like a nude base tint. There it is there. Um, almost like a peachy tint to it. Yeah, and there's definitely like a glow aspect to it. I'll try and look at the light to hit it. It's an awkward angle on my hand. There it is there. So I'm excited to try that out. I will definitely be trying that out. I think that's a win. I like that product. What's next? Is there only one more? One, two, three, four. Huh. Maybe I'm missing something. Usually we get five, but this one's just four, so I don't know what's up with that. This is uh, Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lipstick. I've heard great things about the Marvelous Moxie line, so I'm excited about this. The color I have is Get Ready. It came in a box like that. Open it up for you guys. And that's the color right there. I guess this is like a, a dusty rose, maybe? Definitely a neutral color. Put that, ooh, it's very creamy. That's the color there. I definitely think that's a very wearable pink like a medium toned, almost dusty pink. So, and like I said, I've heard really great things about this lipstick. For a sample size, it's pretty decent. 
I mean, it's way bigger than the Urban Decay one we got in the past, so I've got a number of uses out of that, so I'm happy with that, but I'm shocked that there's only four things. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't think I am. Crazy. If you guys get Ipsy, let me know if you got four or five products this month. I'm really curious to know. Let me know if you got anything different than what I mentioned here. Um, I'm happy with three of the four products. I'm happy with the Bare Minerals lipstick, the eyeliner, the primer. I think those are all great. The NYX eyeshadows definitely had potential, but from first use on my finger there, they looked a little bit powdery, so I'll definitely try them out. I do like the color. So that's what I got for $10. Still a great deal for $10 in this month's Ipsy bag. Um, again, I'll leave a link down below if you want to check it out. And if you get it, let me know that what you got in your month's bag. I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.